Uh, hello everyone, this is Pony Guru. Today I'm going to start my first video. <laughs> um, we're going to try deboxing or debagging, I guess. Uh, Puppy Love Pearly whoops, and Puppy Love Matt. Uh, these are both ponies from the um, high quality, I'm going to mess this up. It's like the high quality custom project. It's HCG Q, some, some order of them. I'll put the link in my video. Anyway, um, these two are Puppy Love. That was the, um, second release. The first was Jeannie, the Sparkle Pony. She now comes in a bag. When I received her, she was just loose. They've started bagging the ponies and giving them little charms. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Little charms that say, made with love. You can kind of see it. Um, so the idea is they have a little necklace. Uh, Matt, Jeannie, uh, sorry, Puppy Love. Matt Puppy Love comes with silver and Curly Puppy Love comes with gold and a little gold cord to put in like a necklace on her, which is very cute. Anyway, I haven't opened these bags at all because, oh, and they also come with a little brush, it looks like. I haven't actually opened them, so I don't know. Um, these two, since they're the second, they're a little more refined than Jeannie. Jeannie is gorgeous, of course, but Jeannie was the first, so they were figuring stuff out. Now, uh, Puppy Love, so named because she has puppies on her, if you can try to, still getting used to this camera. See, puppies. Very cute. They were actually designed after the um, organizer. His name's Clipper. That's a screen name. Um, whoops. <laughs> he loves dogs and he loves his schnauzers. And they were made in honor, I believe, of his schnauzers who passed. And so it's a really sweet and personal project that we can all enjoy. And so I think it's really sweet and like it adds a personal touch more than just a um, like a basic Hasbro pony. Anyway, snip, snip, snip. Today we're going to unbag them, they're going to open them up because I think, personally, I enjoy playing with my ponies a lot, I enjoy doing their hair, I like, you know, styling them and posing them and setting them up for photos, and it's sort of hard to do that when they're in a bag. And since this is a custom project, like, for collectors specifically, I really feel that they should be, I mean, for myself, I think that I want to open them, you know, that's me. And if you want to leave them in the bag, that's fine, but I thought for people who might be curious about these ponies and what the project is, I would give you a little, you know, visual demonstration. And hopefully you can see this. I am not really familiar with using video camera. Maybe if we back up a little. Anyway, here we go. So, as you can see, the bag is partitioned. There's uh, this main bag with Puppy Love in it. We'll start with Matt. We'll do Curly next. And then there's the partition, and then there's the, uh, the necklace. The Made with Love, and it has a little heart on it, I just noticed. So, I'm going to start by clipping... Gosh, I don't know where to clip. I think I'll clip very carefully from the top here, and we will see how that goes. Wee! Careful of the hair because the hair is right there. Oh, we did it. Okay. Wee! Here she is, Puppy Love. We don't need that plastic. Uh, so here's Puppy Love. I hope I really hope this turns out well because I can't see my camera. Um, so here's Puppy Love. She's very curly. Wow. This is straight from the factory. So if you are worried about having a pony with curly hair, oh boy, you do not need to worry. I just like to kind of uncoil and see where the hair goes. Ooh, that's fun. So nice and curly, very full of life. As you can see, maybe a little clearer. She has, oops, where's the camera? Freckles, which I think are adorable. I love the freckles. I don't know where the camera is. Here we go. So very cute little freckles there, and she got yellow eyes. Very nice. As you can see, there's the symbol on the other side as well as on the display side, which is a Hasbro like G1 thing. Not so much in G3 and G4, but we're seeing that a lot more now, which is nice in these custom projects. Um, what's her feet say? Her feet. Oh boy, I have not really looked at them before. Um, it says, I'm trying to figure out what the camera is. Hong Kong. Let's see if we can zoom in. Come on, focus. Hong Kong on this foot like you would see in the um, the original mold. And here it says custom 2016, 2016, 2016, and the other two feet are blank. So these were created from an original G1 pony mold. This is the same mold as we had for Gusty, for Sparkler, lots of other ponies. And um, they sent these off to China to get the molds made. So these are like a one for one. I do believe they're a little smaller because I mean, with mold making, it's not gonna be the exact same size but they are blown plastic. So they're not solid like a resin pony would be. Actually, wee. <laughs> I know, creepy, but um, 
as you can see, she has a plug, just like a regular pony. She has the hollow plastic inside. Where's the camera? She's hollow, just like a regular G1 pony. So you can customize these. You can, I don't know, fill them with glitter if you want to. Um, <laughs> one thing I really like about Puppy Love compared to Jeannie, Jeannie is beautiful. And actually, I wonder if I have Jeannie. I mean, I do. <laughs> Where did I put her? Um, Jeannie is beautiful. But the only thing I don't like about Jeannie is that her hair is very straight and you can't curl it. It doesn't really take a curl. I think the nylon they used is very firm, it's very strong, and it doesn't curl great. I realize that she's just sitting here. So here we are. Here's a brush. Uh, let's open up the brush and see what's inside. Also, I just love this curl. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I might personally recurl her a little because I don't really like these little stray guys. But they're very pretty. It's very... I don't know how to say it. It's like kind of effervescent, you know? It's not like completely factory perfect. Oh, speaking of factory perfect, um, I did have an issue with my genie. Some of the eye paint didn't go all the way into the back of the well there, see? And this one actually, it looks, excuse me, it looks like they finished that, pro they fixed that problem. Because you can see the paint goes all the way to the little back of the eye. Maybe there's a little issue. It looks a little like, not 100%. I'm trying to get that closer. There we go. It's... I think it's really great. It's doing all right. But if you're someone who wants a pony that's like 100% mint straight out of the box, this might not be for you. If you consider yourself a, uh, what do they call it? Like 100% like mint collector, it has to be perfect. Like, cause see, she already has just this little black dot on her foot and I think it'll probably come off. Maybe a little, it's, it's getting lighter. I think if I acetoned it, it would be gone. But like, see, straight out of the bag, that might be something that if you're incredibly picky, that might not be worth it for you. So, um, but see her factory paint to me looks really good. My genie had an issue where the paint didn't reach all the way back into her eye well. <laughs> Still figuring out what this camera is. And these ones don't have that issue. So I think they're getting better as they go, which is great. And it's really an easy fix. It's just a little dot of white paint. If you're not a customizer, if you're not a painter, that can be tough for you, of course. So if you're a completely mint collector, these might not be your bag. But if you're someone who's okay with a couple like small factory defects, then this is for you, I think. I love her hair, it's just so curly and bouncy. But yeah, so Jeannie's hair is very straight, which I love, which is beautifully aesthetic. But if you wanted a curly haired pony, it can be tricky because her hair is a little tough to style. I haven't tried boil curling it though, so maybe it'll be good. Anyway, so that's her, that's the mat. Um, which means no pearly. Her paint's very shiny and very steady, it feels to me. I mean, it looks good. It's not smeary. It's not damaged. And her head turns, so you can pose her any way you like. Or pop her head right off like I did. <laughs> that wasn't weird. Um, okay, so let's look at her comb. Comb! Uh, okay, so it's taped. A little taped bag. I hope you can see this. I'm going to look back on this in editing and be like, why are you doing that off camera? So here we go. You can see a little better. It's just a simple plastic bag. It's not sealed per se. It's just taped. So you can always put it back in. We have a ribbon. Very cute. And we have a comb. This is not to my knowledge. I don't think this is a G1 comb. Might be a G3. I realize now my pink on pink background is not easy to see that comb because it's also pink. But hopefully you get the idea. It's got a little molded heart. And you can just kind of comb, comb, comb. Although her hair's curly. So you might not want to use this comb. And here's the fl the ribbon, the flower, um, which is very nice. This is sort of a similar to you would see a G1 ribbon. It's a reproduction, obviously, but it's very nice. It feels like the kind you get in, um, where do you get it? Like I get mine Joann's usually. You can get them at Michael's. It's like that little, like one centimeter gross grain, gross grain, gross grain. I don't know, that ribbon you can get real cheap. It's like a buck a spool or something. Ta-da! It's beautiful. So there she is. Really nice. And finally, her necklace. Maybe I should have backed up this a little. So I'm going to snip from here so that this will stay in one. Well, I don't even need to save it. Oh, well, I'm weird. So if you can't see it, which you probably can't. Oh, there's actually a nice little, uh, it sort of looks like it's already pre-ripped for you a little bit. Like there's a perforation. I don't know if that's intentional, but I'm going with it. The charm is within its own bag. So as we clip, aha, I did not clip it right. It wasn't a perforation, it was a bit of a mistake. So, carefully clip again. Charm is in its own bag, so it doesn't roll around too much. Uh, <laughs> pony fell. Sorry, Janie. I mean, puppy love. Wherever you are, man. I can't even get their names right when they're new. So, here's the charm. Made with love. 
Oh, it's also sealed, so there's not going to be a lot of charms falling out, which is nice. Very secure. Clip, 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 clip. Off camera, naturally. Uh, don't mind me. Wouldn't that be hilarious if I'm accidentally scissoring this in half? Ah, okay. Thread. And a little charm. Da -da -da -da. Beautiful. It's really small. I'm trying to hold it up appropriately. Can you see it? There we go. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Focus? Can I do the focus? Maybe. We'll see if that... It isn't. Cool. Thanks, iPhone. So, you can't see that at all. But we'll just pretend you can. It says, made with love. Oh, and it says that on the other side, too. So, that is nice. Please focus. There, well, I can't even see it. It's so blurry. <laughs> Come on, iPhone. Oh, well. So, you get the idea. Necklace beautiful little charm. So all together you get puppy love, not genie. Ah. Or you could get genie if you want. <laughs> so very curly pony puppy love. You get the little necklace, which I will not put on right now because I'm a little bit fumble and a brush. Oh, and this ribbon. So all together, very cute. I love this little set. Let's open up the pearly one. Gently move this out of the way where it will immediately get lost. I mean, what? So here's Pearly. Pearly is a little bit darker, I think, because of the pearl finish. Here, you can compare them if you want. Yeah, I think she's a little bit darker. Not a lot, but probably because of the pearly sheen. Oh, and um, I'll show you this after she's open, actually. Here we go. Very careful. Snip, snip, snip. And you want to be careful because that's her hair right there. You don't want to snatch her hair off or snip it off, whatever you youth say these days. We. So, a little bit of a head body gap for mine. Not too bad. I mean, for me, I don't care, you know, but for someone who's very picky, this might be a deal breaker for you. So, here we go. She has the same symbol, same paint. She has, yeah, her eyes look okay. I'm especially noticing the eyes now, of course, because of my genie. Um, trying to get that a little closer. Um, you cannot see it because it's incredibly blurry. There we go. Yeah, her eyes look good. She's the little freckles, just like the uh, matte version. See, there's a little bit of a disconnect on her eye paint there. The eyeliner is not quite connected. The eye white went over a little bit. That is a deal breaker for some people. Not for me, but for some people. So just be aware. Um, whew, it's a little warm in here now. This is very curly again, as with the other one. Maybe a little neater. I think it's just, you know, however they came out from the barrel curler of the factory. Hair is very nice. Um, one thing you might want to notice, move that gently, is that uh, Pearly and Matt have reversed hair colors. So that's not where the camera is. Uh, pink we have first on the Matt. And I say Matt, I hope that's, uh, it's not a guy's name, Matt. It just means she's not Pearly. Um, so Matt Pony has pink and then green. There's the uh, rooting, if you were curious. And then Matt, uh, this is Matt, Pearly on top is green then pink. So it's the same color, but it gives a bit of a different effect. Uh, Matt has kind of a warmer tone around her face, and Pearly's maybe a little more somber. So depending on how you like your color schemes, you know, maybe that's more your thing. Boop. <laughs> Down they go. Uh, here are their tails. They're, you know, identical. They're both pink and green. Both very curly, both very long. I'd be interested to see what they look like uncurled, because that's going to be a long tail. Anyway, here is... Her hair, it's very nice, I think. There's no breaks, there's no, you know, tangles. It's just gently curled. But I can sort of uncurl it with my hands, which I hope you can see, you can sort of see. <laughs> I'm trying to look at this camera as we go, it's not going well. Um, yeah. So it's nice and wavy, it's got a curl to it, which I love. Um, and it just sort of naturally falls into this, like, little, you know, loop, which I like. So, very pearly. Very, but see, neck gap, so that could be, that could be a deal breaker for you. Anyway, um, so here's her paint. See, so her paint's all very nice. There's the puppies. And then on this side, it's more puppies. So that's something I really like about these guys compared to G4, G3 even. When we started having symbols only on one side, it felt a little a little weird. Kind of, you know, cost cutty. Which, you know, it happens. The cost of plastic is going up. But I like them on both sides. That's just me. So, as before, she comes with a comb and a ribbon. You'll just fall on your side. That's fine. 
yeah, that's who we are. And it looks like it's the same comb and ribbon as before. I'm just going to open these up real quick. Might as well open them up. Again, it's an open bag, just some tape. Real easy to whee, pop out. So here is Pearly's, whoop, <laughs> there's the camera. Pearly's comb, Matt's comb. They are identical. They are the same comb. You don't have to worry about mixing them up because they're the same. Ditto for the ribbon. Here's her white ribbon. Here's Matt's white ribbon. Same color, same size, same, I don't know if they're the same length. I'm not going to bother to measure them. This is, I don't know, it's this long. Enjoy. So we can give her her little ribbon. That's very pretty. So the main difference you're going to see in these two is Pearly has a pearly sheen on her body. Can you even see this? Yes, you can. You're fine. Um, so the pearly sheen, from what I've heard, it is applied later. So, like, she isn't pearly on the inside, you know? This isn't a plastic thing. Maybe it is. Um, it kind of looks, actually, maybe she is a little pearly inside. I was under the impression it was a an added thing, like a paint. Because, you know, people, you can add this pearly medium over any pony. It makes them look, per like, pearly. But this one seems to be kind of pearly throughout. So I'm actually going to ask about that now because I'm kind of curious. Anyway, here she is. Pearly puppy love. Very nice, long tail, long hair, and you can always trim it if you prefer, you know, less curly, more straight. Um, where did I put her charm? It's gone. One moment. Oh, I found it. Okay, here it is, off camera. So the one main difference between these two, obviously, well, there's not one main difference, there's actually like four. So we've got the hair color, the, um, what order they're in. It's only two colors, but it makes a difference. And then the, come here you off camera. It is not, not coming out very well. Whee! Come on. All right. So Pearly, I'm going to keep mixing this up. Pearly Puppy Love gets a gold charm, which says made with love. That's probably out of focus. We're just going to have to make peace with that. And the matte version gets silver. I'm actually not going to put their necklaces on because I thought it would be really cute to take a a um, silver or gold finding, which is like a little metal hoop in jewelry making, and put it around their horn so that the charm could go right there. I thought that'd be really cute. Like, um, it kind of reminded me of the um, the rainbow, the locket with the rainbow of light in it in, geez, which one was it? Um, Escape from Katrina, maybe? When Baby Moondancer had the locket like on her horn and it was, it was cute. Don't blame me. Anyway, so here they are. They're beautiful. And I love them. And now they're finally opened. I've had them for like six months. And I kept thinking, I want to make a video. And now I have. Hooray. It's out of focus. <laughs> but here we are. So, Pearly Puppy Love. Matt Puppy Love. Um, the H G A B C D acronym group have several other ponies in plan that are like coming up. There com There's a Halloween Baby, which is adorable. Oh, low battery. That's fine. Adorable. And I'm really excited to get it. She's coming out this Halloween. Uh, she's only like $15. She's very affordable. I mean, well, because these guys are, I think, 25 around. Around 25 because they're very limited runs. They are like not handmade, but they're custom made. So they're very small orders. So as a result, you can't get the big discounts like Hasbro does with, you know, a million units or whatever. There's literally only like, I don't know, a couple hundred units, a thousand units. So as a result, the cost is much higher because there's not as many of them to sell. So they're trying to um, offset the cost for Puppy Love and the upcoming Kitty Love, which is a sitting pose pony. She's kind of a yellowy orange. Like uh, she's supposed to be like a peachy yellow as I understand it, but she looks more like yellow to me or maybe a little orange. Anyway, so I'll just sort of hold them as I talk. So enjoy the ground. So basically, they're trying to sell off the older stock of the Puppy Love, which are already made, and Genie, which are also already made. And they've been out for like a year-ish. Um, and so they're selling them off to help raise money also for the next wave, which is Kitty Love, the Batty Baby, Baby Batty? I think it's Baby Batty Boo or something. And um, the Newborn Mystery Trio. And you get, oh, it sounds so fun. It's a trio of newborns, and they're in a random hair color, body color. You get one of each body color, and the hair color is different for each one. And there's a bonus baby, the fourth, who glows in the dark. And it's crazy, and I'm so excited. But they're not here yet, and they're still being worked on. They're still in progress. And to, like, help raise funds for that, 
because, you know, you don't get as many pre-orders until they're finished. They're trying to clear out all of the puppy loves and all of the genies to help, like, make way for the new ones. So, let's sort of, there we go. Lovely. So, anyway, I just wanted to give, <laughs> that's not even sort of centered. Um, I just wanted to give a little review of my, like, what I like about the, pu the puppy loves. And just sort of pros and cons, and see what you think about them. There's a little comb, a little comb. So, pros, they're really cool, they're unique. It's like buying G1's new again. Uh, the hair quality is really nice. You can comb it, you can recurl it. It comes curly, which is nice. It's very, a uh, very G1, G3-ish, you know, how they sort of had those messy box curls, but they were really cute. Um, downsides, some flaws, like, you know, the little head thing, the head discrepancy, that might be an issue. But see, on this one, it's perfectly fine. So it's sort of like luck of the draw. I You could probably talk to the organizer and ask for a really, like, not, if you had any specific issues, like the neck thing, you could probably ask to make sure you got one that was more like this and not so much like this. But if that's, like, a deal breaker for you, you know, there's going to be some little paint flaws. There's going to be head things. The ones that are, like, too damaged, they don't sell, obviously. But, you know, oh, I think this whole thing is out of focus. Cool. So uh, I hope you enjoy this backlit and out of focus video, this review of Puppy Love. Ding! 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 Um, but I really like them. I think they're cute. I like that you can move their heads. They're not glued. Um, they're, they're like, I don't know. I just think they're charming. I like being able to buy G1s again. And that is like, for me, it's worth it to have little, like tiny issues. Like maybe the eyeliner isn't perfect or there's like a black dot under her hoof. You know, that's for me, that's okay. I'm willing to put up with that. But for you, it might not be. So do what you want. Live your life. I don't know. This is now a motivational video, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's my review of Puppy Love. Now you are more informed about what you're getting. Um, oh, I didn't show you under her feet. They, they still say Hong Kong and Custom 2016. Not that you can see because it's blurry. There we go. Um, but hopefully that helps a little. Anyway, this is Puppy Love and Puppy Love's evil clone. I'll let you figure out which is which. Signing off. Bye-bye!